So we conclude tonight on Project 432 and Project 432 was a little bit too complex for me to describe here so this is a media release that we will be sending out Project 432 Project 432 all began when the City of Perth donated this concert grand piano to the Pro Sound Foundation. This happened when a new CEO came on board with a new vision. The piano didn't fit into the new vision, so she informed the uh, Lord Mayor's officers to donate it to her charity. Having worked with the City of Perth as the resident pianist on this very piano from 2000 to 2014, I was in regular contact with the Lord Mayor's officers concerning different audio and acoustic needs. I received a call February 2022 and while I was on the phone I asked about the piano, how it was going and the officer said oh that's quite a story and she informed me that the CEO was wanting to get rid of it and to donate it to a charity. So as soon as she informed me that I, I told her about uh, that I'm the chairman of the Pro Sound Foundation which I'd commenced since I'd left the city of Perth. And we're looking for a piano to do concerts and various projects and experiments with. After a few conversations, uh, a few more phone calls, uh, it was agreed that they will donate the piano so long as we pay for the removal fees. As soon as we received the piano, we commenced a major renovation uh, work, restoring the piano back to concert uh, performance level. Uh, the piano, it had been a while since the piano had had some attention. It was sitting there all wrapped up. The beauty is in the building it was in. It's, it's a constant temperature and the staff keep it covered, keep it in very good condition. So it is in very good condition for a 1964 uh, seven foot Daneman. We engaged piano artisan Patrick Carr, who did the initial regulation, hammer resurface, and he successfully detuned the piano down to A equals 432 hertz in the equal temperament. Then we engaged Jared Finnegan for a second tuning because it, it needed to be stabilised. Um, he got it sounding really good and it was, it was very stable, but I knew there could be better. In the meantime, I discovered the work of Robert E. Grant, who discovered a Nobel piano tuning called the Precise Temperament Tuning System. Another fellow called Tony Mazzotti released the videos comparing the precise temperament tuning with the current tunings. He did a really good job, so you could hear clearly this, the fine differences. Temperament is the name of the process to distributing the errors resulting from the kneading of the spiral of the fifths. In Western music, this simplification took place in the 5th century and has a necessity for keyboard instrument builders due to the technological limitations of the time. Since then, thousands of temperaments have been calculated and with the advent of the computers, it has become easier to create and compare them. Robert E. Grant is a Californian polymath with 17 patents, mainly in the field of medical technology and data encryption. He is also a brilliant mathematician who has managed to decipher the millennia mystery of the prime numbers on which world cryptography is based. By positioning integers in 24 positions for every 360 degrees, Crown Sterling solved one of the greatest mathematical mysteries of all time. Academic researchers believe this discovery may be the key to unlocking a new, unified physics cosmology, a theory of everything. I see mathematics as a musical and artistic language that is expressed in geometry, where you know, geometry is the sound that we see with our eyes. Robert is also one of the main activists of the number 432, attributing to this number a great mathematical, geometric, and cosmological significance. And in July 2020, he released the precise temperament calculated specifically for 432 hertz. And as soon as I heard this, I thought, wow, I must get a piano in this tuning. I must get our piano in this tuning. So I... <laughs> 
I contacted Jared and I showed him the precise tuning and I think to a piano artisan they are deeply entrenched in equal temperament in 440 hertz so I'm already pushing the, the absolute limits of what can be done with, with the piano tuning so I knew this was pushing the friendship. But Jared's very open, he was very keen and uh, he told me he was able to do it so he tested the precise tuning with his tuning system on his upright piano and it was successful. A few weeks later Jared came around and he did the precise tuning on this piano and it worked an absolute treat. It was, it was amazing. Perfect tuning in the precise temperament. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to present the first concert grand piano in the world tuned to 432 Hz in the precise temperament. Now Simon came over, we did some recordings before in the equal temperament and in the precise temperament. So I'll be posting these on the Facebook 432Hz Australia page and you'll see Simon performing there. I'll be posting myself with doing comparisons with the equal temperament and the precise. So for audio files it's a very clear difference. For the average person they're not really hearing it but their body feels it. 432Hz is in perfect mathematical balance in our universal geometry with the body. It's in perfect balance. That's why it feels better. So we don't talk about, is 440 hertz better than 432? We're not talking about that. We're explaining why 432 sounds better. It's because of the mathematics. It's the nature in physics. It's just how it is. So if it can sound better, why not make it sound better? That's what we're about in pro sound will make it sound better. So we had one of Australia's finest pianists come. Lawrence Ong came and recorded a very tricky piece and we'll close tonight with this.